Hello, hello. So welcome to the monthly gold reflection. It is just a bonus from the Habits of Happiness for the membership. It's something that I do all the time. It's something that um, allows me to really look back to see the areas of my life that I am working in and in balance and part of it. And, and the one thing that I want to do, and I'm going to give you an exercise at the end, is to really look through this with compassion and kindness okay so the tool that we're going to use for our goals at the moment is the wheel of life okay so the wheel of life is a really great tool so i've left it blank for you okay so here we have one two three four five six seven eight all right yeah eight eight different little segments and what I want you to do is just choose areas that you want to work on. Eight. It doesn't even have to be as many as eight. It's just think of your life and the areas that you want to work on. So what I tend to work on is my passion and purpose or career or work. That is one segment. Then the next one is how is my finances doing? Then the next one is like my personal growth. So how am I doing in myself? The other one is my health and that's my physical health. And then my next one is my emotional health. And then the next section is my relationship and love life. And the next one is my social night. The last one is um my spirituality okay so that's how i work around it um with my wheel of life so i have instead of just having health i have mental uh, physical health and then i have mental emotional health i have two different sections on that to see how that is working within myself but you it's just to check and see how you are in balance so in the center you can imagine it's a zero and then as it goes out to those squares, it's a 10, okay? And what we want to look at is really, so halfway would be about five. So what I want you to do is to think about each area, once you've chosen the different areas within your life that mean something that brings the whole to you and it can be all different, then... I want you to think, right, if it was level 10, means that actually I'm living my best life and couldn't ask for anything more than that area. And then zero is like, it is just, I actually don't, well, you can imagine, just isn't working at all. So I want you to go through and see where you are. And this is exercise, it's always about non-judgment and only about awareness okay so it's always just around awareness of where you are because without awareness we cannot change anything okay so we need to become aware and there's no point in hiding how we feel or how we are because we're just putting layers on top so we, this actually gives us an empowerment to be able to recognize because then we have a choice rather than feeling like we just don't know where we're going next, okay? So what I want you to then do, okay, is I really want you to now think about what would your level 10 life look like, okay? So how would it look um, if it was working at a level 10? So how would, that, how would that be? Now, if you've already done my course, you might have done this already. But I want you to really think about how how you would feel, what you would be doing, like what are the 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 different uh, actions and the things, the people, all the different things that would be in your life. How would you recognise that you were living your level ten life in each section? All right. And the reason that we want to do this is because really we want you to get to your level 10 life so we want you to be able to really set goals and set um new uh, or push past boundaries uh, from where you are now and allow you to be able to do that and i'm going to give you um a little strategy 
on how you can do that um, in the next video okay so once you've got it down because if you've not actually got a destination in mind then we're kind of just allowing other people to tell us what our level 10 life is or what it should be so take a good five ten minutes if not longer to really think about the areas that you've put in see where they are now and really think about everything how what actions who would be in there what would you be doing you know and it's it can be challenging because it can we're, we're not there yet so we have to kind of push past um our boundaries and allow ourselves to really dream big so allow yourself to do this because nothing bad happens like when we're children you didn't tell children to stop imagining things do you know um so and if you hold it in the space of compassion and kindness and not judge yourself because you're not at that place or where you are then it means that you can now take steps to to do uh, what you want to do and get closer to that level 10 life all right and this is a self-compassion exercise that i want you to do either probably just before you do your level 10 or after because it might it might um allow you to actually um see yourself through more compassion and eyes all right so what i want you to do is allow yourself to really hear what it would be like for someone who was loving and compassionate to yourself because sometimes when we are setting goals or expectations for ourselves we can sometimes have that inner critic in ourselves and telling us that we're not capable so what I want you to do over the next week, over the next couple of months, um, is to really start to build in this inner voice, this compassion. So I want you to do it by starting, become aware of what comes up for you when you do your level 10 life and your goals. And then I want you to reframe anything that comes up. So if, if something negative and not, your inner critic says that you're never going to be able to do that. Dar, you're so stupid. This is your, whatever else it is. Then I want you to think that you can have me in your mind if you want. What would Samantha say? What would she say? She would say, you can do anything you put your mind to. You are amazing. You have everything inside yourself. So you become that inner cheerleader and that inner voice for yourself. And that kind, compassionate voice as well. Because often it's our inner child that has been bullied or damaged and it's not feeling safe. So it's either kind of acting out or it's just wanting to retreat in, you know, or it just wants to run away. So learning how to be more compassionate when, this, when you do these types of exercises and doing it and writing it down on a regular basis really brings the trust back up because often we may still have external people who don't accept us and still want all these things from us. But then we also have that louder voice that tells us that we're not good enough and we shouldn't be doing this and this isn't capable. So we need to strengthen the one inside more than anything than outside because we're with that much more. So I will see you in the next video where we're going to just go into setting our goals and having reflection on how things have gone in the last month and then setting new targets after you've already taken into account what areas you want to work on because we've already got your level 10 life there you've already seen what this month's been like or the past month and now we know what we're going to be focusing on so i will see you in the next video